we recently received a gift of a beautiful painting by an artist named Ella Pell, who was born in Missouri in 1849, but um, in her later years, she lived in Beacon. She was classically trained at the Academy de Beaux Arts in Paris. A, a local Beacon resident who had moved away 50 years ago to Kansas donated the painting to us, and it is a scene of Fishkill Creek. And it's quite lovely, and we're very pleased to have it in our collection. Beacon Historical Society has an extremely large collection of postcards of Beacon, Fishkill Landing, and Matawan. And we're quite excited that one of the photographers named Harry Van Tyne took photographs in and around Beacon. In the 1920s, he moved to Washington, D.C., where he became the founding member of the White House News Photographers Association. And his entire career was involved with photographing six presidents. And he traveled all around the world as well. So most of our collection is from the 1904 to 1914 years. In our collection, we have bound newspaper prints, newspapers uh, starting from the early 1920s to mid, early 1940s. And they were the Beacon News. And what's exciting about them is that there is none, none of them are digitized. So we, there's the only place to find them is right here in Beacon. My name is Diane Lapis and I'm the president of the Beacon Historical Society. And I don't know how long I've been involved, but I believe one of the first things that I did when I moved to Beacon about 12 years ago is I got a library card and I joined the Historical Society. One of our most important things that we do is provide a monthly, monthly newsletter on the history of Beacon. And our former president, Bob Murphy, started the newsletter about 40 years ago and he ran it for 38 years where he wrote articles. and. The articles were recently put together into a, a book uh, called Beacon's Memory Keeper and Storyteller, Robert J. Murphy. Um, and because of the work that he did um, and his dedication to the history of Beacon, we have such a rich amount of knowledge about everything from factories to people that lived here, trends, um, the war, war effort, and anything and everything about Beacon. And we're very thankful to Bob Murphy's dedication and, and amazing writing style. Like he's very, he was very captivating. So I think if you have any interest in history or any interest in Beacon, if you're a newbie that you've just moved here and want to learn more about your, your home, your neighborhood, the, the beautiful buildings that are here, members do receive the monthly newsletter and invitations to all of our, our events, which are also open to the public, which we're very proud of. Mm -hmm.